This is the Memento digital picture frame. They asked me if I was interested in reviewing it and it's probably been 15 years since I looked at digital picture frame. So I was interested in checking it out. And it's by far the best digital picture frame that I've ever seen. Not only is it the first that I've seen that's on this kind of grand scale, but the matting is, is really nice and it makes it just blend into your decor much better. This bigger version is about 900 bucks. The smaller 25 inch version is quite a bit less and um, they both look absolutely fantastic. This has a 4K display, so it's about an eight megapixel display, and that really comes through in this large format. And to me, that it speaks to an entire different type of photography, because you have the opportunity, you invite the viewer to explore the details in this kind of large format with this high resolution. So they can really peer in and see individual trees in the mountain range, and explore the little dots that make up the bird's eyes and see the reflections in the birds and all this detail in the hills in there. That's not something that comes through often in digital photography since so much of digital photography is consumed on Instagram or on Twitter or the viewer is looking at it on a smartphone. So to me, it kind of opens up uh, a brand new way of looking at digital photography. Getting your pictures on the frame is really easy. You can do it using a, a desktop app. So you can export pictures from Lightroom and then kind of manually pull them into the folder. It's not drag and drop, could be easier, but at the same time, it's not that bad. They also have apps for iOS and Android that make it really easy. And that that's cool. That means I could take a smartphone picture and get it on the picture frame in just a few seconds. It also means that if I have a friend over, I could uh, do a little like impromptu slideshow for them and pick specific pictures and have it just instantly display them. So I don't have to like follow the kind of built-in pacing or schedule. I'll say all the apps are good, but they're not perfect. They don't, for example, allow me to reorder the images uh, or give me any kind of control over the cropping, which I wish they could do. It does a good job of automatically cropping it, but sometimes the auto cropping isn't perfect. And my only option in those cases is to go into Lightroom, recrop it, re-export it, re-import it. It's kind of a pain. The app does give you the ability to adjust the picture, like the uh, brightness, the color temperature, the contrast, and all that. And it looks good to my eye, but I can see looking at the camera that it's a little too bright in balancing the ambient light, so I'm just adjusting it down for the sake of the video camera. It will adjust to the ambient light, so it has an ambient light sensor, and when the sun comes out and your room is filled with light, it brightens up to balance that, and it does look pretty good in full sunlight. Um, that same ambient light sensor is supposed to shut it off when it's completely dark, so it's not running all night, it saves a little bit of power, but that works pretty good in some rooms, but I found in this particular room, our family room, we have some electronics that have little LEDs that stay on all the time, and that's enough to keep it awake and running all night. So to combat that, you also have an away schedule that you can have it just manually turn off at specific times, and so I do that too. The away schedule only allows you to schedule six days, but there are seven days in the week, so I guess it stays on all night one particular day of the week. <laughs> I will say the Memento guys have been pushing out updates, so I bet they'll even see this and release some software updates that will address these little little nitpicks. They're just nitpicks. Overall, I really like the device and it does uh, some pretty amazing things in the ability to display your, your pictures almost like prints, but with the immediacy of digital, without having to buy a big printer or order prints and then tape them into a frame and hang it on the wall. You get to see more of your recent pictures with this, and that can really improve your photography. Seeing your pictures on a day-to-day -day basis improves your photography because you, when you look at it over time, you grow to love a picture more or you grow to hate certain things about a picture. It's also like having a portfolio and that seeing your pictures motivates you to go out there and take new pictures. When you take your pictures the next time you're on vacation or, or out on a shoot, you'll be thinking about what do I want to display on my wall? Whether you hang it vertically or horizontally, you'll be thinking about that aspect of the format and what will look good with the colors in your room. So it does bring another dimension to your photography. If you look at this picture frame on a website or maybe even in this video, it might look almost as good as a print, 
But that's, it's really not as good as a print because prints reflect light and therefore they kind of always naturally balance the room and they also have that kind of traditional look. This definitely looks like a monitor or a TV. It looks like a very good monitor or TV and the, the matting and framing definitely downplay the electronic part of it. But there's no doubt to your eye that you immediately think it's electronic. I look forward to some future with color e-ink displays or even good black and white e-ink displays that could display my pictures. But I checked and those devices don't seem to exist in like a picture frame format that's available for consumers at this moment. So I, based on my searches, this is the very best you can do. And I do think it's worth it. Now, you can manage multiple of these in your home. So you could get several of them and scatter them around the house. And you can, of course, it doesn't have to rotate this quickly. You can have it stay on one picture for different schedules, whatever you like. But you could then rotate pictures for different rooms based on the guests that you were having over or the season, whatever it is that you liked. I kind of wish I could give one of these to my grandmother and uh, manage the pictures remotely. So if we were on vacation, I would love to be able to throw a new picture up there so she could see it. But you just can't do that. You have to be, you have to manage it from the same local area network so you can't manage it remotely. It also kind of won't display pictures at all unless it can talk to a Wi-Fi network. Even though it stores the pictures locally, if there's no Wi-Fi, it just kind of shows a starting up screen and never continues on. My grandfather, does, my grandmother doesn't have Wi-Fi, <laughs> so it wouldn't work when I wasn't there to power it on. I also wish it had like manual controls so you could maybe manually switch to the next picture. Something subtle like that, um, just for the less tech savvy. For now, it's definitely in the domain of those of us who are a little bit nerdy. It looks best straight on. If you view it from the side, it still looks pretty good, but you do lose a lot of contrast, so things look a little flat. As a result, you should pick a spot in your house where you'll most often see it head on. Another big weakness of an electronic picture frame is that it needs power, and it's really way too much power. Uh, we kind of hid the power cord behind this this plant, but regardless, there's always going to be a dangly cord of some kind. They do include a flat power cord that you can press against the wall and then paint over, and we are planning to paint this room. So I, at that point, I'll get rid of this plant and I'll use the flat power cord. Another option would be to have an electrician come in and just put in a power outlet behind it. That's totally feasible. It might run you a couple of hundred bucks, but that'll be the most seamless way to implement it. Uh, thanks Memento for sending me this picture frame. I do like it a lot and uh, like I said there are lots of little things that make it not perfect but it still seems to be the very best on the market and if you're serious about digital photography and you don't like waiting for prints then I suggest you check it out. Thanks and subscribe to see more photography stuff. Bye.